master is within my sights. The Shek bear his power, but I see opportunity. Resting in that tower lies the final piece to my plans. People have feared those who now bow to me, and the Bugmaster will be no different. Once he knows his true master, I will raise and burn Kenshi to the ground. Every city, every soul that thinks there is a speck of goodness left, will perish before my might. The age of civilization is over. The war of Yaku has come. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Boss of Bosses with our protagonist Narco. Today is the day guys, Narco finally unleashes his rage across the world of Kenshi for world domination. And here we are at the Bugmaster. I've been buzzing to, for the build up of this episode and I hope you guys are going to really enjoy it. I can't wait to start burning cities to the ground. I've added uh, I've, I've added an idle animation mod as well, just to uh, make the guy's stances look a lot more cooler. Narco's flexing his blades a lot more now. My favourite, however, look at look. You got to check out Blue Eyes though. Look at look at Blue Eyes' stance. Oh, oh, she is someone I definitely wouldn't want to mess with now. The blades look so cool with this stance as well. So we're in the lands of the Bugmaster, uh, just on the border. We're gonna make our way there now and capture him. And then what we're going to do then is begin our assault on the Hook region on the United Cities. Don't worry guys, we're obviously still going to be recruiting criminals along our journey. But I think we're at a point where we're ready to start taking on cities, um, especially with the Bugmaster on our side. And you know, we've been recruiting for uh, quite a few episodes now, so so we're ready for, we're ready for a proper fight. Alright guys, let's get through these waves and waves of spiders. Good luck. Jesus, shade, shade. Calm down, man. Don't get too far ahead. Come on, team. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Chop their legs off. Chop every single limb off their body. Ah, oh, Narco. Why is it always you, man? Oh, someone actually mentioned in the comments also that he had Narco leprosy. So how can I be mad at him now? That did make me laugh. I need him awake for speaking to the Bugmaster, so I hope he doesn't go down again. Let's cross the river, guys. Oh, look at them all over there. All to the... Imagine if you had to go to a place like this in real life. Freaking arachnophobia is a nightmare. I wouldn't come here, just saying. The Bugmaster has got a few cages on the top floor of his tower, so we'll put him in there to recruit him. That's if Narco doesn't uh, go down again. Oh, King Gurgle has got three on him. Come on, mate. Come on, guys, hurry up, across. Yes, well done, well done. I wish I could buy the Bugmaster Tower after we defeated him because I would just use this as our base. Such a cool location for Narco to have if he could buy it. We're almost at the tower, come on, guys. Break through the last line. Dimmick, Shade and Blue Eyes, you'll take it on the Bugmaster. The rest can take care of the spiders. Go, 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 go. There he is. Dimak, Shade, Blue Eyes. Let's go. And let's fight him. Go on, guys. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, Jesus. Come on, guys. Go on. Okay, they all came up. Fair enough. Go on. Get him. Get him. Go, go. Where's Ghost? We need Ghost. Actually, no, we don't. He'll kill him. Go, go. Come on, Shade. Yes. Oh, who got the kill, though? It was either Red Saber or Shade. Nevertheless, well done, guys. Right. Heal him up. Shade, uh, you pick him up. Everyone else, let's heal up. Tora, what are you doing out there? Come in. Maybe I'm underestimating the strength we actually are at at the moment. Um, I thought this was going to be a lot harder. Now, okay, I wish you could have fought him, buddy, but as normal, you were very injured. At least you're up to speak to him. Okay, Shade, put him in the cage. It's time to bring him on. 
and they say that all the shit for you. <laughs> you are nothing but a puny bug yourself. You have two choices, Bugmaster. Join me or be stepped on like the bug you are. And you will now call Narco Master. Maybe I should change his name now to Bugman. He's no master anymore, but a slave. Right, let's get you out of here. And there he is, with a lot of teeth apparently. Bugmaster's lucky tooth. Never seen that before. That's pretty cool. We'll have to sell some of this to get a bit of extra money. We need to get the Bugmaster some armor as well, because you ain't going to war like that. Yes, Bugmaster, kill your kind. Kill them. Oh, I'm so happy to have him on our side. I've got a couple of mods on, so I actually want to see if there's something different in this chest apart from teeth. No, pretty much the same. Okay, Dimmick is the one that's uh, slow in the groove and Blue Eyes is down, so we'll pick them both up and we'll get the hell out of here. Let's go, let's go. Kill any spider in our way. Oh, they're starting to surround us now. Narco's down again. Go on, Bugmaster. Oh, King Gurgler goes underwater like the skeletons. Cool. I suppose that makes sense considering he's a uh, half fish, half man, maybe? I don't know. What is this hybrid? Half man, half fish, half beast? Half crab. Could be crab. Let's find a camp on the Watcher's Rim and use their beds there. We're killing everyone there, though. Obviously, the time for being nice is now over. Ah, here's one. Oh, you poor, poor soul. That is not going to help you. Kill them all. Yes, die. Die. The war of Narco has come. Kill them all. Looking for this man? Face him if you dare. Yes, yes. Well done, guys. Everyone heal up and we're resting these beds until the morning. Rise and shine. It's head chopping time. So the Bugmaster is a little bit defended. We're going to grab him some armor just to make sure he's a little bit protected on the battlefield. I mean, it would have been my choice for him, but that will do for now. All right, so let's head down to the hook area. Uh, and there is a city around here. And that's what we're going to attack first. To destroy all the major factions, we need to take out their leaders one by one. Every last head needs to leave their shoulders. We'll take out all the slave camps as well. Don't worry, we're going to kill the slaves too. Any worthy criminals we find on the way, we'll recruit to our cause. Let's go. Oh look, some empire peasants just going about their day. Bless them. Kill them! Oh, they're actually going to talk to us. You're a fool to attack me. Kill them. Go on, Shade. Well done. Oh, slave hunters. Kill them. More fighting up ahead. Kill them all. Everyone is at war with us now. No excuses. This one looks like an es escape slave. Are you kidding me, mate? Kill him. Try and backtrack me again, mate. There it is. Drifter's last. The first city to fall. All right, we're going to need to scout the area first. I know I said we're strong, but I want to be double, triple sure before we do whoa whoa oh man there's so many harpoon turrets uh, i think we may be uh, overestimating our ability here oh look at this guard as well a toughness 85 68 63 64 52 i mean they're not bad but we haven't got many characters over 60 skills ay 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 you know what? I promised you guys a fight, and we're gonna give you a fight. But not right now. Change your plan. We'll be back. On to more recruitment. Now, considering we've taken a lot of uh, criminals already down in the south, I'm thinking we're gonna need to go east to uh, recruit some uh, of the bandit leaders around here. A lot of these guys are in their mid 60s to 80 stats as well, so it's really gonna help us when we attack the city. But first, we need some cages. I'm pretty sure there's a way station around here somewhere. Where is this way station? I must be going insane if I'm completely wrong. Ah, there it is. Right, Dimac, you're going in. You're the one with the material bag. We'll take as much as you can carry. Perfect. All right, let's venture east. 
Just looking at some of the guys' stats, I've noticed that Shade skills in thievery are massive. So that could. Oh, why are you going in here, guys? No, 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 no. Go, go out. Just leave. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Shade's thievery skills are massive. So what we might actually do, if we can't attack them with full strength, we might use Shade to kidnap the the lord or lady of the city and kill her outside. Like I said, once they fall, the city will fall. And that's essentially the size of it. But I think that's um, quite cheesy and it's quite boring. You know, I, you know, Narco wants to full on attack uh, with brute strength and kill everyone in the city, not just the leaders. So that's what we're going to try and aim for. But he's not stupid. You know, if it's going to be too hard for us with the amount of units that we've got, we're going to have to try a different plan, AKA kidnap and kill. Oh no, we've got a pack of dogs running at us. Kill them all. We should be good with a pack of dogs, right? Yeah, we're good. We're good. There's been a lot of discussion around Catlon as well, and I asked you guys if you feel like, uh, for RP purposes, that we should bring him to the squad. After debate and listening to your thoughts, I think actually I am going to bring him on. Um, you know, for RP elements, even though technically he's not a criminal narco knows of his strength and you know technically i think we could maybe program him into fighting for us he's a robot right so surely there's some sort of programming in him in him in a way i think using a story like that we can definitely allow Catlon to uh, join the team and to be honest man this series wouldn't be the same without him he definitely i definitely want him on the team however i don't know how bugmaster will feel about it Ah, uh, southern hive now are attacking us Welcome to the East, boys. Speaking of the Southern Hive in the Royal Valley, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think we should capture and recruit King to our side? I mean, that would be pretty cool. I mean, Narco wanted King Gurgler as a, as a pet companion, really, to the squad, but King would be the ultimate pet companion. Let me know what you think, anyway. Here we are, Sonorous Dark, first target, Seventh the Skin Eater. Uh, I think his base is somewhere around here. But I know he's high level 80 stats, so we are definitely going to bring him on. And I want the peeler machine. I can't remember what the skeleton skills are like, though, so I hope we're going to be able to take him. Uh, we should be okay, though. Ghost and Bugmaster should be able to take the majority. Oh, man, Acid Rain. We need to get out of here fast. There's the creepy outpost. Let's get in quick. Ah, there isn't that many in here. We should be fine. Savant's going to be in this room, so we're just going to rush in. Nothing to see here. Just keep looking away. Go, 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 go. Quickly, quickly. No one spotted a shit. Look, toughness 74. Strength 33, that's terrible. Attacks in the 80s, though. Yeah, he'll be really good on the team. Oh, he's got a... Uh, must be one of the mods I've got on. I love the uh, the helmet he's wearing. All right, Bugmaster. Oh, what happens if I talk to him, actually? A human, I see. What brings you to the skin ones of the self? Oh, my God, I can't be asked to read all that. Oh, he's talking to us all. I'd like to join the skin pandits. No. Right. Shade, can you stealth KO him? Yes, you did. Okay, pick him up. Okay, we, we're getting out of here. This is literally the worst place to fight if you get knocked down. Run. Let's head to the pits. Oh my god, now they're attacking us. Okay, okay, okay. Fight them. Fight them. Okay, well done, well done. Run, run. Okay, that was a lot easier than what I thought. Thank god. The, the skin band at HQ is the worst place to be if you start getting knocked down. They start putting you in the peeler machine, and they start ripping your skin off, your armor comes off, your arms come off. I mean, taking the limbs off is a pretty much an upgrade, but in this scenario, we, we can't afford armor being lost right now. I'm on a schedule, and I want to attack a city. It's going to happen. We'll head to the coast over here, and we'll build the prison cage. We're going to get the leader of the skeleton bandits as well, and the crab queen. Those two are going to be our next targets. Let's get the prisoner cage up. Uh, we'll just wait a minute. Let the uh, let the battle finish first. Ah, oh, not the crabs. Summon the skin peeler. I do fancy skinny humans forever. Join me. And there we are. Let's take seven on. Welcome aboard. Let's uh, take all your money. Skeleton human transformation bar. Yes. Need research bench level three. Well, I have that. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, bloody hell. More freaking crabs. That was blue eyes down. Come on. I love the Nodachi. 
Uh, it's probably one of my favorite vanilla weapons in the game. Uh, he's got a few medikits and repair kits, which is great. And um, we'll put the cage back down and we'll move on. Freaking triangle bandits out here. Oh no, not more freaking. Right, kill them all. More crab raiders. God damn it. Narco, come off passive. Get involved, mate. Oh my god. We're getting attacked by everything today. Fishman, crab raiders, skeleton bandits, triangle bandits, skin bandits. And what's this over here? Oh, triangle executioner. Just more Ugh, bloody hell crab raiders. Where are they all going? Right, they are fighting with each other. This is just like a battlefield right now. Bugmaster, can you please pick up blue eyes? Seven, you're going taunts. Narco, well done for not getting down, mate. Yay! Usually the first to get knocked out. Proud of you. Oh, this guy's one scary dude, man. Silent Hill vibes right here. We're just constantly in fights right now. All right, we need to go. We need to run. No more fighting. Like I said, we're on a schedule. Ah, that's the base I want to go to. I just don't know how to get there. This 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 area is so complicated to get through. But we will find... Oh, bloody hell. Who's this? Okay, more skeleton bandits. Kill them all. And we've got more up ahead of these. Who are these? Skeleton bandits, of course. Man, we don't get a break in this episode. Oh, where are you going now? What? Why would you do that? I mean, the only good thing about this is we're gaining loads of experience. Right, I think... I think we have to go up this way here to get up the top. We're going to take on our first skeleton recruit as well, the leader of the skeleton bandits. Don't know his name, don't ask. Alright, we're finally at the skeleton bandit place. Now, our guys are pretty messed up at the moment, so I don't fancy going in full on fighting. But, we do have Shade on our side, who is very injured right now. But she's all we got, so I hope it works. It's 9 o'clock in the morning, so... Don't know how good her stealth is going to be, but we'll give it a go. All right, Shade, it's up to you. If you fail this, you need to run. We'll get the guys out here just in case. Go, 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 go. Ah, oh, there he is. Oh, God, we've got no chance of knocking him out. All right, we can attack. We just need to do this a bit more tactically. Let's wait for the guys to get over here. Shade's going to lure some of the guys out and we'll fight them in open battle we seem to be doing a lot better fighting in open battle than close quarters at the moment uh go off still okay run 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 okay guys come back out here come back out here okay now attack them all go 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 kill them all Oh, Jesus. Narco. Always dead the first one down. How many times is that in this episode? Three? Four? Come on, one last guy. Get him. That's the first wave done. Right, well done. Well done. Right. Heal up. Shade. Go back in, mate. Do it again. Okay, I really need to put these guys on passive or something. Okay, a few more are coming out. Let's go. And there's Zelda. Okay, fine. This is perfect. Can I... In the midst of this, get a prisoner cage up around here. Okay, I can put one there. Perfect. Seven. Yep, you're good. Get Narco's bag. Ghost, pick Elder up. And hopefully that's another one sorted. I'm sorry if you think we're going through the uh, couple of criminal bosses quite quickly. It's just because I really want to focus on the fight today. That's the main goal, to take at least one city so the war can begin. We just need a bit more manpower. Oh god, uh, another group just attacked us and now everyone's down again. Okay, Bugmaster, heal up the guys. Okay, some of the other guys are getting up. Seven, get up and carry on building that cage please. And Bugmaster, carry on healing people. Oh my god, right. Bugmaster, please take care of him. Bugmaster, go taunt as well please. Kill him. Go on, Bugmaster. Well done. Man, there's so many. I didn't think uh, bases like this would be so hard, but this is becoming a bit of a challenge. Has anyone lost any limbs? No, thank God. Bugmaster, we've got another guy. Okay, have we built this shit? Come on. I oh, know. Uh, guy getting up by ghost. Uh, Bugmaster. Oh, thank God. Seven, you've done the cage, finally. Ghost, put him in. Narco, 
Is he alive? Nope, he's down. Can't do it without Narco. Right, Narco's up. Oh, finally. Elder. I've got no time for a big speech for you, mate. You're joining me. Oh, thank God for that. We need to get out of here. We are so injured right now, badly. All right, guys, I'll see where we get out of here. Oh, my God. Right, finally, we've managed to get out of there. We've uh, arrived in the base of Tim Fist in Stove's Gamble. Um, I forget what this place is called, to be honest. Uh, still, the town type is still unknown at the moment. But we finally got out of that mess. I cannot believe uh, how difficult that was, to be honest. We managed to get seven and elder, though, which is great. Um, I was hoping to get a few more, which we still might do. With these two extra guys, and, you know, they're in the 60, 70 skills, we should be okay at maybe even taking on a place. Uh, thank you, anti-slavers. I will kill you eventually. I'm hoping there's somewhere we can rest. I don't know if we can use the HQ's beds, but we'll give it a go. And there's the mighty Tim Fist. Probably the only character that could probably beat Catlon one-on-one. -on -one. Ah, yes, we can use these beds. Thank God for that. We'll be back when everyone's repaired and healed. Man, Narco needs a bit of that skill. Martial Arts 122. Are you alright there, Dimac? Bit of twitchy in the arm? Can you guys go switch on this Tim Fist? I have no idea. They just sat down next to each other, and now I'm confused. I think it's this one. I was right. You're just some imposter. All right, finally we are healed up. No time to waste, let's head to Venge. The Voodoo Brothers uh, in the control tower is our next target. Two more skeletons on our side, which would be perfect. Once we've got these two characters, I think we're gonna be ready for, to attack. Can we just also take time to appreciate how far Narco has come? I mean, he's probably got the most down count on the team. But when he started off in those rags in a little hut in the hut, and now he's got this immense team with him. What a journey so far. There's still many more episodes to go. Oh no, no, we're not we're not attacking, we're conserving our energy. Flying ball, why are you so slow, man? Oh my god, there's so many. Rad, rad. God, I hope this is gonna be enough now to take a city on. I'll be gutted if it isn't. We've got to still get, there's still a couple more guys in the east that we need to take on, uh, like Catlon and the Crab Queen and uh, the Reavers, some big names, some big names for the team. It might be a perfect opportunity to get in the tower before the Stroves of Death Rays decide to turn themselves on. King is always going in the water, King Gurgler, instead of taking the route with everyone else, just because you're a better swimmer than all of us, mate. Stop trying to show off. The death rays are going to turn on soon, and I have no idea where the control tower is. Ah, uh, we're going to have to risk it. King, please get with the group, mate. Oh my god, it's happening. Ah, that could be it over there. Okay, let's head that way. Right, go, go, go. Go, dodge, dodge everything. We're doing well, we're doing well. God, I hope to god this is the place where they're at. Oh god, okay, we've been hit once. We've been hit. It's okay. It's okay, we can still make it. There it is, the old control tower. Perfect. Just get up there. Go, go, go. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Ah, oh, we're in. Finally. Right. Kill them all. Okay, there's one. What's his name? Not weak from. Screamer. Ah, uh, see, he's, he's mid 40s. He's not bad. And there's the other guy. Oh no, that's still Screamer. Where's the other one? I think that was the other one there. What was his name? Plonk. Blue eyes, pick him up. Yes, they have cages at the top. Hey, there's Agnew. Sorry, Agnew. I'd love to take you on this journey with us, but you're not part of the series. Voodoo Brothers, join me, or your CP will be ripped from your heart. Screamer, welcome to the team. Plonk, welcome to the team. There we are, the Voodoo Brothers. Welcome to the team, lads. Or skeletons, or whatever you want to identify as. I don't know. All right, we've managed to find three new skeletons and seven to the team. Now, we've all patiently waited. Let's go back to Hook. The question is, are we gonna get out alive? Oh no, not Big Things. God, Big Things and being in Venge, just like the worst combination ever. See what I mean? King just always takes the water. Okay, Ponk didn't actually have a weapon. His martial arts skills are not very good either. So we need to get him a weapon. Damn, it's so annoying though. Like I was so ready after getting the Bugmaster to attack and then I saw all those turrets and I was like, nope. Fingers crossed guys, this is gonna be it. 
This is going to be the team we need to take on a city. Guys, we don't actually need to go all the way back to Hook because we've got a beautiful city right here. Yeah, I think this is the one we're going for. We're not going to go straight for the gate though. We're going to get ourselves in the city first before we begin the attack. Maybe use and abuse their beds. Oh no, bloody beak things. Anyway, we're going to use and abuse their beds uh, and make sure we're healed up first. Uh, wait till night time before we attack. Canton. Your death awaits. Oh my god, what is that? Oh no, it's a freaking elder beak thing. Nope, nope, nope. Can we get past? Yes, we can. Oh, thank god. Okay, it's coming up to midnight, so this is going to be a perfect time to attack. Most of our guys are okay. Some are injured, but we're not taking any chances. We're healing everyone up. All right, there's a few guards about, but nothing too difficult. The one thing I like about this city there's no turrets around anywhere thank god let's heal everyone that needs to heal up our target is the noble house with the lord or lady in charge of the city we're gonna take the streets capture her and finish her off or him i don't know who it is bugmaster ghost and seven you three are gonna have taunt on to distract the majority of the guards the rest of us will try and finish them off one by one ah uh, Luckily as well, we've got an alliance with the shinobi thieves, so they're definitely going to help us. And it's right by the noble house. Perfect. Okay, Narco. Get everyone into position. We're going to stick together as a team and not actually spread out. Bugmaster, go 7. You're going in with Narco to the noble house. The rest of you defend the streets outside. The team's in position. <laughs> Blue Eyes is all set and ready to stab some faces. Okay, Shade. Let's open it up. It's time. Go, go, go. Alright, okay. Seeing a lot of green. Seeing a lot of green. This is good. And yes, they're going to come and help us. Just as I planned. We've got this. We've got this. Okay. Got reinforcements coming in now. Where's Plonk? I need Plonk. Plonk, you need to get a weapon mod. Uh, Empire Ninja, no. Not the kind of weapon I was looking for. Let's go over here. Yeah, that will do. Okay, seem to be doing well. Seems to be doing well. The Shinobi Thieves are helping us. Go on, Shinobi Thieves. Narco might actually spare your faction for your service. How's Narco doing? He's not doing he's not doing bad, he's not doing bad. Blonk, you need a weapon like what well, that guy has. Grab his weapon. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, I think we've got the streets secured. Let's um let's heal up. Where's Narco? Okay, Narco's good, Narco's not down yet. I'm always surprised by that. Okay, Narco, Bugmaster, and Ghost and Elder. Narco and the and the four strongest guys. Nope. Open it, open it. Let's go. Kill them all. Let's capture the leader. Capture Lord Shiro, that's him. Oh yeah, I remember meeting him before. Oh, go on now, okay. Okay, D-Max the only one down. That's good. Oh, okay, I think we've done it. Where the hell is Lord Shiro, though? Where's he gone? Did he escape? For this split second, I've, I've now lost Shiro. Bloody hell, look at the... Look what's happened out here. Jesus, there's a huge animal battle out here as well. This guy has no idea what's been happening upstairs. Where the hell is Lord Shiro gone? <laughs> Completely lost him. There is no way he could have escaped. There's some armor here for Elder though. Yeah, specialist grade. We're taking that. How's that look on you? Yeah, I like it. Guys, I, I don't know what's happened to Lord Shiro. He has literally disappeared. Unless you haven't eaten him, have you, King? Open. Open. Hmm. Finally found him. Where the hell did he come from? I think he just came from the police station. Oh, right, okay, at least we found him. Good, good. Kill him. Go on, ghost. 
Ooh, Honk, take his sword, mate. Beautiful luxury Nadachi. That looks pretty cool. Rob him of his money. Okay, seventh. Pick him up. Right, now we've got him. We need to get out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We freaking did it, boys. We did it. They're still chasing us. Um, uh, Bugmaster, take care of this guy. Well done. Lord Shrier will be the first to die and will display it outside his pathetic city. Who will be the executioner? Bugmaster, if he wakes up. Or some skin spiders are over there. Ghost. Take him to the skin spiders and put him down and go and go and go. Go, go, go. Dinner is served, skin spiders. Oh god, run, run. Come on, there's dinner right there. Just right here. You're going the wrong way. Alright, we'll try a new plan. Ah, there's two beak things. Perfect. There's food right there for you. No, don't ignore it. Ah, oh, he's got up. Okay, fine. Um, Bugmaster. Chase him down. We're going to have to get some uh, torture devices, I think, uh, for the next, next guy we kill. Ah, oh, finally. Goodbye, Lord Shiro. May you burn in hell. We have begun our war against the United Cities. Finally, Narco is uh, achieving his goal, or the start of achieving his goal, and starting war against the United Cities. It wasn't the city we wanted to attack. I didn't expect the cities down in the hook to be so well defended. We've managed to get some new recruits on, which is great. There's still many more to take on, but we'll definitely be focusing on attacking more cities in the next episode. And obviously, we'll gain a few more recruits in the process. We're definitely going to have to make a plan on how we're going to kill these leaders uh, in the future because that took way too long. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you're still enjoying this episode. If you did, and if you are enjoying my content, don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next episode. See you later.